When was the last time you asked yourself why people wear perfumes? As for the designer fragrances, why did you want to buy them? If we want an understanding of perfume, we must go back to the beginning of history, to Egypt. When the ancient Egyptians invented scents, they used them in religious ceremonies, royal burials, and daily wear. The wealthy used it to establish social status by projecting an air of elegance. We tend to overlook the importance of our scent. Your scent is a reflection of who you are. First impressions have the power to linger and persuade others about you in the midst of it all. A complex mixture of raw materials makes up fragrances. Extraction of these raw materials is carried out using synthetic or organic materials. The resulting perfumed oils are then dissolved in a solvent, usually alcohol, to preserve the scent. Higher oil concentrations correspond to stronger scents. How long a fragrance lasts depends on its strength. Scents, however, will react differently to different people. How it smells when it mixes with your natural body odor. Keep in mind that what you're about to listen to is only a guide. In this video, we will discuss all you need to know about fragrances. Number 1. What do fragrance, perfume, toilette, and cologne mean? The fragrance is a generic term used for perfume. It comes in many forms and is called different names but generally falls into these categories. Fresh. The most diluted type of fragrance, containing 1-3% to perfume oil in alcohol and water. It usually lasts less than an hour. Cologne, eau de Cologne. The most ancient term for perfume. Light, fresh, and fruity, with 2-4% to perfume oils in alcohol and water. It is commonly used in fragrances for young people. It usually lasts about two hours. Toilette, eau de toilette. A light spray formulation containing 5 to 15% pure perfume essence dissolved in alcohol. It usually lasts about three hours. Perfume, eau de parfum. Historically, the term fragrance has been used to describe both men's and women's products, and it is the best term for describing a fragrance. It contains 15 to 20% pure perfume essence and has a duration of 5 to 8 hours. Parfum. The most concentrated and expensive fragrance option available. Parfum is slightly oilier and contains 20 to 30% pure perfume essence. A single application can be effective for up to 24 hours. Number 2. The notes of fragrances. Fragrances have a three-part life cycle. Imagine an evaporating pyramid, with the top gradually disappearing until you reach the bottom. Individual scents, or notes, from each of the three sections, are belted together to form what you smell. Most fragrances have three different types of notes that make up the scent. Top, heart, and base notes. Top notes. The top notes of a fragrance are also known as the opening notes or head notes because they are the fragrance notes that are immediately noticeable upon application. Top notes are the first to fade as a result of their lightness, but this does not diminish their significance. Heart note or middle note. Heart notes, as the name implies, are located in the center of the fragrance. This scent layer, also known as middle notes, is the foundation of any fragrance and accounts for 40 to 80% of the final fragrance. The heart notes appear just before the top notes fade away and have a strong influence on the base notes that follow. A fragrance's heart should be pleasant and well-rounded. As a result, common and recognizable heart notes include cinnamon, rose, along ylong, lemongrass, and narrowly. Base note. Once the top notes have completely evaporated, the base notes will begin to shine through. Base notes alone account for 10 to 25% of the final fragrance. The base notes, on the other hand, combine with the heart notes to deepen the fragrance's complexity. Whereas the top notes create the initial impression, the base notes are associated with the fragrance's dry-down period, and thus, the base notes will create the final, lasting impression. Base notes are typically the richest and smoothest of the three notes, as well as the longest-lasting. Base notes that are commonly used include cedarwood, sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, and musk. Number 3. The Fragrance Wheel. Like what we've said earlier about the scents in the notes, scents are categorized by families and it is represented by a fragrance wheel. 
Michael Edwards, a perfume expert, came up with the modern fragrance wheel in the early 1990s. The fragrance wheel is divided into four major families. Floral, Oriental, Woody, and Fresh. Each has subgroups that describe the scent in greater detail, such as a floral oriental or fresh citrus. It is important where they sit on the wheel. With the addition of certain notes, a floral scent becomes a soft floral, and so on. We typically prefer scents from one or two families, though you may have an emotional attachment to others. Number 4. The Categories of Fragrances. It is important to know fragrances by knowing the popular categories, designer and niche. In general, designer fragrances are created by fashion designer brands, whereas niche fragrances are created by industry artists. Designer fragrances aim to appeal to the mass market, that is why you see some designer fragrances in the department stores and are usually cheaper in price than niche fragrances. Whereas, niche fragrances typically have a higher per bottle budget than designer fragrances. This means they use higher quality ingredients. Niche fragrances frequently have an exclusive target customer. More money does not always imply a better fragrance. Some of the most popular fragrances of the last century were made with low-cost ingredients. The amount of perfume oil concentrate contained in a fragrance is one of the most important price drivers. However, what you often end up paying for is the marketing cost and the image associated with a brand rather than the cost of raw materials that comprise the scent. Number 5. Do fragrances expire? Fragrance can do expire. However, how long they last is determined by the chemical composition of the scent. Many fragrances, particularly those from well-known brands such as Chanel, do not have a set expiration date. Some will expire in less than a year, while others will live for up to 10 years. A fragrance, on the other hand, has an average shelf life of 3 to 5 years. The shelf life of fragrances is also affected by how they are stored. Fragrances that are properly stored last much longer than those that are not. If your fragrance does expire, applying it may cause an unpleasant odor, skin irritations, or, in extreme cases, an allergic reaction. If your fragrance is more than a couple of years old, you should probably test it before using it. If you want your fragrance to last as long as possible, you must store it properly. Keep a fragrance away from extreme temperature changes when storing it. You should also avoid storing your fragrance in direct sunlight because heat degrades the chemical structure of the fragrance, causing it to lose its potency. Often, the packaging of your fragrance will include an expiration date. This can be either a batch code or a period after opening number. These are usually printed on the bottom of the fragrance or on the box it comes in. Many other numbers, such as the catalog number and barcode, are frequently printed on the packaging. It is critical to understand which number you are looking at in order to determine if your perfume is expired. Check Fresh has a very useful drop-down menu that allows you to choose the designer of your fragrance and provides specific examples of how their batch codes look. You can then enter the code to determine how old your fragrance is. You can visit their website. I will put on the link in the description. That is it for today's video. Here's the question I'd like to ask. What brand of fragrance do you have? comment us your answer. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to Luxury Geeks channel. Thank you for watching.